this video intended for educational purposes. Hey guys, it's Adam AK Swimming Bird, and at long last, we are here in 13W36A, the first 1.7 snapshot. It's been 10 weeks since the last one, and there are way too many features in this one. This is probably the snapshot with the most features ever, the biggest update we've gotten so far, and it is insane. Now, I'm going to be dividing this into two videos. Uh, one video will cover all the new biomes, as you can see all these teleporting blocks here. But this video is actually going to cover all the other new features. There's so much, it was going to be like a super long video if I did everything in one. So check out the other one after this, please. But let's get into it now. This is all the new flowers we got. Let me go into these first because uh, it's a lot of really cool decorative stuff. And then I'll go into some of the other little features here like fishing and everything. And uh, so first we have the dandelion. This is normal, you've seen this. It gives us... Uh, two dandelion yellow when you uh, craft it, but here is the first new flower now the poppy Replaces the rose and uh, you get two rose red from it uh, They might need to change that name there But the poppy is now the new rose replacement and you'll see why later uh, Here's another new flower the blue orchid and uh, or orchid however you want to say that and it gives you light blue dye Most of these flowers oh, in fact all of them give you dye so it's an easier way to get dye uh, this is the Allium. It's a little purpley flower here and gives you magenta dye. Uh, here is the Azure Bluet, and uh, you blew it. It's a light gray dye from that one. And there are four different types of tulips here. The red tulip, orange tulip, white tulip, and pink tulip. And they all give pink, gray, orange, rose, red, all those respective dyes there. And then down here is the last of the new normal flowers, the Oxide Daisy, which also gives light gray. So you're not going to be hurting for light gray dye in this update. Um, so yeah, these, these new flowers can be found in tons of different biomes here, and uh, in the biome video you'll be able to see all those in, in action. But here are the other uh, four flower things that are uh, basically tall flowers, I guess I'll call them that. The first is the sunflower, and this gives you two dandelion yellow, the same as a dandelion. And the sunflower always faces east, and it has different stages of growth, uh, unlike all the other flowers in this update. So it'll grow slightly, and then it'll get its nice little yellow uh, top there and then over here we have the lilac another too tall one and it's got two magenta dye when you put it in a crafting table and here is the new rose bush so this is why uh, the poppies are now the singular ones because Jeb wanted to make roses grow like they actually do in real life in bush form and that gives you two rose red and then last here we have the peony or the peony or uh, it's a simpler name for it, I believe, and this gives you two pink da dye, and uh, this is also the new decorative tab block uh, little decoration there. So that's all of the, the new flowers here. Uh, over here are some of the other new blocks I wanted to mention. This is Podzel, or Pine Straw. You'll see that in the, uh, the Redwood biome here that we'll get to in the other video. And then there's also a new type of ice. It's the Packed Ice. Now, if you break this, uh, I'm in creative anyways, but if you break it, it will not leave water behind like the normal ice. And it's also opaque, so you can't really see through it. And this factors in to a very special biome, so you'll see that in, uh, in the other video, but I also wanted to show, you just saw that for a second there, if you land from, I think it's 12 blocks high, you hit off these particles here, so I have to go a little higher, and then blam, so they go with whatever block you land on, so if I was to stand on the packed ice here, we should see some packed ice particles, yep, there we go, and even like chests and different stuff that you'd think wouldn't break off particles when you land on it, it's that has that as well. Um, some of the other plants here that I wanted to show, and there's another special block that you might not have noticed yet. These are the, the other two types here. So we have normal grass, but we also have double tall grass. And then there's normal ferns and large ferns. So if you were to use bone meal on a fern, it becomes a large fern. And if you were to use bone meal on normal tall grass, it becomes the double tall grass. And you can find these occurring naturally in the different new biomes and the old ones. And here is the last little block thing. Well, there's more new blocks and stuff, but the last thing in this little area, obviously, is permadirt. Now, this is something you have to use a command to get. It is uh, the normal dirt command ID is three, but you do one uh, as the little factor there. And you get this dirt, which when you place down, as you can see, nothing is growing on this dirt. It will just forever be dirt, and it's used in some of the new biomes as well. So let's head over here. Before I get into fishing, I want to show you these three new blocks really quick. 
It is the Mossy Stone Brick Monster Egg, the Cracked Stone Brick Monster Egg, and the Chiseled Stone Brick Monster Egg. So now you can have little Silverfish blocks uh, for the other types that weren't previously in the decorative tab here. They're now in here, and their names are so long that if you rename them, you have to shorten them to even get them to fit in there. Silverfish have some some edits here. They sh they're now supposed to travel in more of a little conga line when they attack, but I haven't actually witnessed this even when they attacked me. So that's a little bit of hearsay. I'll have to do some more research on that. So here is the new fishing mechanic and the new fish. So we'll go into that. Man, I keep making those particles when I land. So the first type of new fish is the raw salmon. There's also the clown fish and the puffer fish, and then you can cook the salmon. Salmon's a good source of food. I don't believe you can eat the clownfish, and if you eat the puffer fish, you'll have some bad effects, including nausea, uh, you'll get crazy hunger, and then poison. So you'll basically get really sick and almost die. I can show you guys that, but avert your eyes real quick if you don't want to see it. We'll also try to eat a clownfish, and we'll see what happens with that real quick. But yeah, if you don't want to, if you hate the nausea effect, uh, it's now actually in vanilla Minecraft, finally. I'm going to need to run around a little bit, but I can talk about fishing as I do that. So these new types of fish you can get with uh, your fishing rod like normal, but there are a couple new enchantments on the fishing rod. The first is the lure enchantment, and the second is the luck of the sea enchantment. And you can get these normally by just enchanting your rods, but you can also find books for them. Uh, another way to get them is to fish up a fishing rod or an enchantment book that has it on it, because fishing now has a bunch of new rewards, including... Uh, you can find bows, enchanted books, uh, name tags, lily pads, water bottles, saddles, rotten flesh, string, leather, bowls, sticks, boots, or damaged boots. So there's a ton of different stuff. Fishing has like three categories now when you fish, and it's really, it's actually really interesting now to fish. So I'm going to use my special rod here with Lure 3 and Luck of the Sea, because Lure allows you to uh, catch more fish, just normal fish, and Luck of the Sea actually gives you a chance to catch those rare items that I told you about. So together, I'll just have an increased chance to do both. So um, I'm going to fish here, and the three categories are Junk, Treasure, and Fish. So there's a lot of junk items, there's a few treasure things, like I said, name tags and lily pads and stuff are pretty rare to get. And there's a salmon, I just caught one. So you probably witnessed the the little new fishing way that uh, Dinnerbone was talking about. You'll see when you fish a bunch of little particles, and you can kind of spy a few here. There we go. So there's some particles going around. That's supposed to denote the fish in the water, and when you see bubbles uh, in the water that will quickly move towards your lure, you know that's when you're going to have to pull in. So it's not going to be completely random. If you're fishing, now you can actually like see when you're going to get a fish tugging on the line. And if you noticed it before, here we go. Here comes the bubbles, and there we go. You got another salmon there. So it's actually a lot easier to tell when you're going to need to reel in. It's not just like completely random. So I think that's a pretty cool addition. Uh, I need to run around a little more so we can eat that puffer fish real quick. But yeah, fishing is a lot more interesting now and more complex. So that's pretty cool. We'll eat the puffer fish in a sec. I'm going to head over here and uh, and mess with this jukebox now. Uh, one really cool thing that they added is... Uh, oh no, silverfish! <laughs> nope, that's not what we want to do. Um, so one cool thing that they added is the, the ability to change... Uh, specific volumes, and I'll show you that in a sec. I want to pop this record in as soon as we can. Okay, there we go. So you'll notice the music is pretty loud here, so I'm going to back away. Music's actually double the volume that it used to be uh, to kind of amplify it a little bit, because a lot of people said the music was not loud enough. But if you go in here, along with some of these other new settings, I can turn the music down. So there we go, it's a little nicer now. There's a master volume. You can turn normal, like Minecraft music, completely off. I have rain. If you hate like weather sounds, I have that really low. And you can set different sounds for all of these different things. So you can basically just turn down the ones you don't want to hear and uh, get rid of them. So it's pretty cool. Now uh, I'm going to head over here, and I guess I'll turn this, this jukebox off. We'll go back in the, into the nicely edited music. And there we go, I can eat the puffer fish, so let's get away from the silver fish. That's not the type of fish we want to do. And I'll chow down on this puffer fish and you'll get to see the effects here. So let's do it. There we go. Hunger 3, Poison 4, and Nausea 2. So avert your eyes if you don't like seeing the nausea. Ugh, it's gross. The nausea only lasts a certain, like, it's not a very long effect, but it does suck. This won't kill you, but it will bring you down to half a heart, even on hard mode or whatever. So uh, you're going to need to be careful once you have this because you can die very easily so i'm going to go back into creative so yeah don't eat the puffer fish oh the other thing i was going to try is to see if i can eat 
this clownfish real quick. And we can, okay. And it gives me like half a heart, so it's not very good. The salmon's a pretty good source of food. Now, um, just gotta cook it first. Let's head over here and I wanna show you some other things. Uh, so we talked about that. There's also the resource pack configuring. I mentioned in another news post, you can select a resource pack and whichever one you put over here on the top will take precedence. So like I'll put my bird pack at the top and any textures and things that aren't found in that will be filled in by this Mario Kart texture pack and then to the default. So whatever's on top gets uh, priority when you do that. Uh, over here, I wanna show you guys enchanted books uh not enchanted books uh written books sorry they look very similar uh written books can now be cloned so if you have a written book and you have an extra book and quill you can go in here and throw it down whoa or the game will crash okay so for whatever reason it won't let me do it with the book that i copied there but that's probably a bug that needs to be fixed so basically have a written book and i'll just call this one hey and then uh, when you go into the crafting window here, we should be able to duplicate this. There we go. So if you have a book and quill, you can add that to the window and you will get two back instead of just the one. And you can keep adding more to get three up to getting a, a total of nine of your books. So you can make eight from that. Now I have a bunch of copies. So now you can distribute your, uh, your books around the server. If you write a nice work of literature, <laughs> you can give it to your friends. So some of the other stuff I want to mention here, um, this is really cool here. So weighed pressure plates, they used to only use items to, to do stuff. So now you can actually use mobs and it's very easy with the gold one to throw a bunch of mobs on there and they will power that up. The The volume I noticed uh, will go back up when you uh, when you exit out and come back. So you're gonna have to, those chickens were real loud. So it reminded me that is probably a bug. So that'll be fixed. But yeah, so you can throw a bunch of mobs on here and the iron one obviously takes a bit more to do and they will send out a redstone signal. And then let me grab, this is the kernel secret recipe here. And we'll get rid of all those chickens. Uh, this other guy back here, I'm sure you noticed him. He's just patrolling the island. That's my iron giant. I'll talk about him in a sec here. But yeah, that's a little feature there. Um, some other stuff over here I wanted to tell. There is a really cool feature now where you can spawn in lore for items. And uh, so this is a little thing, Sailor Steve's head that I made. It's a, uh, a special item. If I push this, it will give it to me. Here it is. Let me grab it out of the inventory. Here we go. Sailor Steve's head. And it is a, uh, I gave it luck of the sea just because you can add enchantments. That's not an enchantment you'd ever want on a, on a head of a person. And you can add lore on there. And the command is kind of complicated. I'll go through it real quick. So you can do like, here's the item ID. And then back here, you put the name, you display the lore that you want on it. Uh, and there's a couple lines here. You can do like several lines and then you can do an enchantment. And I put luck of the sea on there just to mess around. And also I made this, Scarlet. It is a fin sword from Adventure Time, so I've got that here, and it's I gave it Unbreaking uh, 10, and uh, that's something you can't normally put on a sword. So this is kind of a cool way to get items in the game that you wouldn't normally be able to get. Now, another thing you probably notice next to this is that uh, the lore actually allows you to get uh, other things on there. So this is this the default to get a normal head on a, you know, a, a, a Steve head, there we go. So it's, yeah, and then if you want to get a player's head, you can do skull owner, and then you do whatever the skull owner's name is. So now I have my own head here, and uh, I can place it down, and it'll be my head, and I can even put it on, and it'll make my, my head a little bigger if I pop it on there. Blame. There we go. So now I have a giant head. Um, <laughs> so yeah, you can get these in-game without any, like, plugins or any special server stuff like that. It's now in vanilla, so that's really cool. Um, one thing you probably noticed here is that when I hover over, it tells me what this thing is in here. That's a new feature of item frames. It lets you see what an item is named. And if I go into survival, you can also see the new feature of item frames. If I punch a frame, it will now give me the item back first. And if I punch it a second time after that, it will drop the frame. So now it doesn't just drop both at the same time. It's a nice way to like get your items back really quick. And that was a long requested feature. So luckily we got that. Well, I gotta be careful that giant's gonna attack me here. Uh, I think I can go into stuff about the giant now. This is a really cool feature. They added two new commands here. There's slash achievement and slash summon. Now slash achievement uh, is pretty sweet. It uh, allows you to give achievements or stats to players. So I could give myself the stat that I played for one minute. And uh, so it's like I played for a minute or whatever I added that. Now the achievement part of it, I could just give myself achievements. This is all tied into the scoreboard system because you can now use the scoreboards and detect if someone has an achievement. 
So you can lock an area maybe and be like, hey, if you don't have this achievement, you can't get through here. So that'll be really cool for like adventure maps and stuff. But I can give myself an achievement to mine wood, even though I haven't uh, done that. Actually, I think I have done that. Let me try another one here. We'll do build workbench. And I think I already have that one too. Jeez, I'm trying to find one that I haven't gotten. Pickaxe, there we go. So time to mine, you can see I got that achievement. And achievements are now based on world and server. You can also zoom out using the mouse wheel so you can kind of get a better look at them. But achievements are now based on whatever server uh, you're on or world, so they're stored by that. That's linked into the statistics. So you can't just like get an achievement on one server, come to another and feel like you already have it because you have to earn them individually on there. But yeah, that's, that's tied in that. And the summon command, that's how I got this guy over here. You can do slash summon and you can summon in entities, not just uh, m mushroom cows or, or all these animals. You can summon stuff like a hopper cart. <laughs> Throw that down there. It's all these different types of entities. Uh, let's, let's see what else we can do. We can do, uh, I think there's like a, yeah, fireball. I can summon in a fireball and wherever it went, it burned out really quickly. We're going to try something else here. So yeah, I pulled in the giant and I named him with a name tag so he wouldn't uh, disappear. You can summon in like a leash knot. I'm not really sure if that went anywhere. But basically like any type of entity you can now summon. It's pretty cool. You can even get the ender dragon this way. So if someone's OP on a server, they can do this. You can do a snowball. I want to try fireball and see. Yeah, For some reason, some of these don't seem to work. I was going to shoot him with a fireball, but that doesn't seem to work. But yeah, you can get giants and the wither and the ender dragon, lots of different stuff summoned into the world through that. Um, some other things real quick I want to go through. There's new achievements. Uh, one of them is going and seeing all the new biomes, and there's a lot of new biomes. So, uh, like I mentioned, check out the other video for that. I'll get into that pretty soon here. Um, oh, so the pufferfish. You might have been wondering, what the heck is the pufferfish for if it just poisons and kills you? Uh, it's actually used for brewing a special potion. And I think I can just pop this in here. There we go. And uh, you can use it with an awkward potion. It'll take a little bit here, but you can make a potion of water breathing now. And there's all the variations of it. You can extend it, make it into a splash potion. And now you can breathe underwater. So that's really cool. Uh, that was a effect that you that was in the game, but didn't have a really a potion for it. So hopefully they will keep adding that for stuff like jump boost and other different potions. Um, some other things. If you're on fast graphics, uh, you actually can't see through water anymore. So that's something to keep in mind if you if you like to play on fast graphics. And I believe you can't see through ice either. So yeah, this is solid over here. Not just the packed ice, but the normal ice is now solid. And you saw those particles were huge when I landed there. It's because the farther you fall, the bigger the particles will spread out. So let me turn my graphics back here. And some of the other stuff I wanted to mention here, uh, the fog distance has been increased. Uh, there's the book stuff and the uh, sugarcane. I'm going to go into this more when we get into the different biomes, but sugarcane is now a little brighter and it changes color based on the biome. And that's also something that the, the tall grass, the giant uh, double large ferns, and the double tall grass, those will change depending on biomes too. So they use the like foliage image in your resource pack to change how they look. And then the last thing I want to say here before we move on, and you guys can go check out the other video if you haven't yet, uh, I've got this little command here that's really cool. It's called the here boy command. <laughs> I actually have a dog ready to summon, so I can do summon entity wolf. These are the coordinates, and then I can do custom name, sitting, whether it's sitting, what its collar color is, who his owner is, and I'll summon one. He's going to get hurt real quick. Okay, sorry little guy. And I think I have to log out and come back in. So we'll go, go out, come back in here, and then I can get him to stand up. And he will uh, he'll follow me around. He has a blue collar. His name's Rover, and he listens to me. So it's like you can spawn in very specific entities. So you don't have to use, you know, just the default wolf. You can make like a wolf that's yours or a cat that's yours. So really cool stuff there. Let's see if I can get him to fight the giant. He might get killed, but if I punch the giant, he might go after him. That would be kind of cool. All right, wolf versus giant. Go go. He's having a hard time hitting the giant. His hitbox is so weird. Turn the weather off. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I know this was a ton of stuff, so hopefully you stuck with me. And uh, I will mention anything that I forgot in the... Oh, poor Rover. I'll mention anything I forgot in the other video. So go ahead and check out the uh, the biomes side of this snapshot. Bam, there we go. <laughs> and uh, I'll see you then. One last thing, too. I'll probably mention this again the other one. Uh, if you hold control when you're in creative and flying, you will 
the old sprint in the air and control is now the new default key to sprint you can double tap forward to, to sprint still but you can also just hit control and there you go you'll sprint a lot easier so yeah thank you guys for watching leave a like if you enjoyed this and i'll see you next time for more minecraft goodbye